Okay, now we will continue for the next event, which is uh, mouse event. Okay. So mouse event, uh, basically uh, we use when we click on the object, so it will perform the action. Okay. So for this example, okay, I uh, put the soccer ball, okay, soccer ball, and uh, I want to take some action for the soccer ball when I click the soccer ball. Okay. So we edit the code. Okay. So for the scene uh, event, okay, add event uh, listener, okay, add event listener. So we choose the mouse. Okay, mouse, so we have uh, three types, right? So, uh, most commonly used, which is the uh, first one, which is add mouse, okay, click on object. Because I want to click on the object, so it will take action to the object. Okay? So, click this one. Okay, so uh, we have three options here. Okay, uh, get model, mouse location, get screen distance from left, and get screen distance from bottom. For this, uh, Type we mostly use is actually get model mouse location to give the instruction to the uh, object. Okay, so first step, yeah, uh, we need to add the the if statement. Okay, we need to use the if statement. Okay, to make sure that uh, we can activate the uh, mouse uh, event. Yeah. So first, uh, we click the if statement. Okay, wait, and then we insert. Okay, under the uh, do in order statement and then we choose true okay. so uh, after we insert the if statement okay so we need to choose the conditional okay uh, conditions so the condition is tested with the relational which is the as thing and then uh, compare using the equal okay so we choose the relational as think Okay, and then choose the first one which is equal. Okay, so the first uh, we can choose any value for the first uh, value here. Okay, for example, I choose this because we will change for the first value. But for the second value, so because uh, equal we have two value, right? The first value and the second value. So the first value you can choose any value because we will change uh, later. Okay, but for the second value you need to choose uh, what object that you need to click on okay so in this case the set the object that i want you to click uh, is actually the soccer ball so that's why for the first i choose this and then for second uh, is equal to soccer ball so it's not like this okay so if okay, is equal to this soccer ball okay so for the first uh, condition here so i i will replace with this uh, statement okay which is the event okay function of the mouse click okay get model at mouse location so i click get model at mouse location i replace with the first uh, condition which is this okay so it will replace this one so meaning that uh, if event get model at mouse location is equal to soccer ball okay what uh, meaning by this uh, statement is actually when we click the soccer ball so that's why you need to drag you okay, get model at mouse location so what will happen okay so the soccer ball okay uh, will um, turn left okay turn left okay for example uh, 0 0.5 Okay, just an uh, example. Okay. So, I will show you the uh, results. Okay. Right. Okay, so what will happen when I click the ball? So, it will turn left. Right. But when I click on another surface, for example, I click on the bunny or I click on this surface, so there will be no uh, effect to the ball. Okay, because we already choose... Uh, the first function eh, at the model at the location of the mouse so that's why you need to click on the mouse sorry you need to click on the object okay right so this one eh, add mouse click on the object listener so meaning that you need to click on the object okay? and then uh, 
the second and third option here get screen distance from left get screen distance from bottom is actually just uh, referring to the value okay because when we add a statement uh, for example turn left and then you need to choose the value right so um, you can choose any value here or you can replace by the get screen distance from the left so you will automatically de detect uh, the amount okay uh, so this is actually just the amount okay nothing uh, important for the, the movement of the ball eh? you, you can uh, choose this one or you can uh, choose the value that uh, have in the statement so that's it okay? but um, I will show you the differences eh, between the get screen from left and get uh, screen distance from bottom so uh, for example I I add another uh, movement for the ball okay move up Okay, 0 0.5 and then move down 0 0.5 okay example okay I replace 0 0.5 for move up and down by distance from the left okay so I show you what will happen okay so you will turn left and then move up so that is the the distance you okay, get that the uh, ball will move up and down okay for the first option which is the distance from the left okay so if i replace the the option here get screen distance from left okay with the get distance from bottom okay so i will show you the differences okay so that is the distance Okay, uh, if I choose the bottom, okay, get a distance from the bottom. Okay, so that's it. Uh, yeah. The differences between uh, get this screen distance from left and get screen distance from the bottom, just the, the distance okay, that uh, we choose. Okay. So this is for uh, example of the mouse click. Yeah. So if you want to uh, make some action to the object that you click so this is the step okay so the most important part is actually you need to use the if statement okay you need to, to use if statement and then choose the relational uh, as think and then choose equal to okay equal to okay. and then this uh, uh, click okay mouse click okay uh, can be activated only when you click on the object okay not okay on the, uh, the other surface okay so if you click on the other surface there will be no uh, action will be taken okay, based on this coding okay uh, for example if you want to see what will happen if you click to another object so maybe you can drop statement here which is else right false if you do not click on the object so you will go to the false statement right else okay for example uh, I will show you for the bunny. Okay, bunny one we say. Please click on the. Okay, so I will show you. So if I click on the soccer ball, so it will uh, process with the action. Okay, but if I click to another part, for example, I click here. Okay, so the action will not be taken. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if I click on another object, okay, another object which is the bunny. Okay, so bunny with uh, uh, say something which is the else statement, basically on the soccer ball. Okay, but if I click on the surface, there will be no action uh, will be taken. Okay, so the action uh, will be taken only when you click on the object that you insert on your scene. Okay, so here, okay, for if, for true, and also else, for false statement. Okay, both uh, conditions must uh, click on the object that has been uh, insert on your scene, not on the surface. So if you click on the surface, there will be no action will be taken. Okay, that is how we use the uh, mouse event.